I'm so excited to be able to share this absolutely delicious recipe with you. Basically, we're going to use candorel, a banana. We're going to use uh, two slices from a 400 uh, gram loaf of tasty wholemeal. We're going to use a punnet of strawberries. It's only a small punnet. Some fry light. Some cinnamon. Some Clark's Original Maple Syrup, because I don't have one of the, the Muscle Foods um, zero calorie ones. Uh, some bacon and some eggs. Well, one egg, to be precise. So we're going to start off by trimming all of the fat off of the bacon. So basically, we've turned them into bacon medallions. Put those to one side. Grab a small bowl. I use a, a little ramekin, which I got from Asda's for just a pound. We're going to put three tablespoons of sweetener, I use candorel, so three tablespoons into the ramekin. We're also going to add approximately a teaspoon of cinnamon. You can add more or less, depending on how much you like the flavour of it. And then we're going to give it a really good stir just to get those dry ingredients mixed through and to try and prevent any um, little lumps forming from the cinnamon. So put that to one side for a moment. Put one egg into a bowl. Make sure your bowl is large enough to hold your two slices of bread. Give it a really good whisk together. Next, we're going to add the contents of our ramekin. So that's your three tablespoons of sweetener and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And once again, just give it a mix to gently mix through the dry ingredients with the egg. Once you're happy that all of that is mixed together, just put that to one side. You need to now heat a saucepan or frying pan, spray it with a little bit of fry light, and we're going to use this pan to fry off the bacon. So pop the bacon in the pan, and leave that to cook for a few minutes. While that's cooking, we're going to prepare our fruit. So I've got one banana and the contents of a small punnet of strawberries. I'm going to chop those up into slices. Going back to your egg mixture, you now want to take your two slices of wholemeal bread and put them into the mixture. You want them basically to absorb as much of the egg as possible so that it takes on board lots of yummy flavors you're going to need to turn the slices of bread over a few times to make sure that the egg mixture and the bread are nice and combined. It takes a few turns. As you can see, there's a little bit on the corner there that's been missed on one. But basically, once you flip them over back and forth a few times, you'll see that most of the mixture has been used up and they'll be ready to go in the pan. So while those are just soaking up all that egg mixture, you need to uh, get your other frying pan and again coat it with a little bit of fry light and let that come to temperature. Remember just to check on your bacon, make sure that it's not sticking, turn it over and let that finish off. So we come back to the egg mixture once more, give it a final flip over, make sure that it's all nice and coated. It smells really, really good already and it's not even gone in the pan yet. That cinnamon flavour is so, so pungent and so strong, but yet it 
Oh, it smells really, really good. I'm really excited for trying this for the first time. I've not had this before. I've not cooked to this before. I've had something similar cooked for me, but this is the first time that I've actually tried it myself. As you can see, there's a first slice pretty much covered. So just turning it over to get the last little bits on the second slice done. Give it a little squash down. You'll notice from any of my videos previously that I do faff quite a lot in the kitchen. I'm quite a perfectionist. But okay, so we've got up most of the egg mixture. We're going to take our first slice over to our hot pan and place it in. We're going to do the same with the second piece. Now, once they're in the pan, they actually only need a few minutes just to cook the egg slightly, to brown off. By this point, your bacon will be done. Obviously, if you like your bacon not so crispy, you'll have wanted to take it off the heat before now. But I like mine kind of crispy, so that's me just taking it off the heat there. Check on your bread. Make sure that nothing's sticking in that pan. Leave it a few minutes. And then once you think that the bottom is cooked, obviously you can then turn it over. So here we go, here's me turning it over. See this one-sided, one-handed recording and cooking. It's it's not the easiest thing to do. My pans seem to uh, swivel around of their own accord when they're not being held. But anyway, you turn them over. Look, that just looks absolutely delicious already. And the smell of the cinnamon and everything is coming through. It's so, so good. So they just need a couple more minutes just to cook on the other side. So we've got everything else prepared. We're just finishing on the bottom of that, those slices cooking. Once they are, you place your first one onto your plate. We're then going to lay um, a layer of sliced banana. Basically, you can pack any fruits that you like onto these. I've opted for banana and strawberries because they're soft fruits um, and because I'm quite partial to bananas. They're a good source of potassium. Your strawberries are, of course, um, a very good uh, source of speed food. Um, so this is like a really a, quite a healthy dish so far. You've used the fry light. You've used wholemeal bread. You've used bananas and strawberries. Right, next, we're going to add seven and a half mil, which is one and a half teaspoons of the maple syrup. This really just gives it a nice sweet flavor without actually flooding the plate with syrup. Once you've got your syrup on there, you need to grab some of your, your bacon slices. I had five slices. That's what was in the packet. So that's what I've used. So I've popped three on the base layer. And then we're going to take the second slice of wholemeal bread. Now, bear in mind, I'm using two slices from a 400 gram wholemeal loaf. It's count as a healthy extra B choice. If you're not using them as a healthy extra, then they are three sins each. So we've started putting our second layer of banana on now. We're basically going to do the same thing that we did with the first layer. We're up on top. So... Rest of the banana goes on, then you're going to grab another handful of chopped strawberries. Hopefully yours won't all fall off like mine did. I seem to have some kamikaze fruit on my breakfast plate this morning. The strawberries were incredibly ripe and soft and a bit squishy and juicy. And Yep, there goes another piece. But they were really, really tasty. So you pile all of those on. You put your last couple of rashers of bacon on top of your banana and strawberries. You get another seven and a half milliliters or one and a half teaspoons of the maple syrup and drizzle that over the top. It's so, so good. It's already just looking absolutely delicious. So you drizzle that over. Once you've done that, to serve it, basically all I've done is use the rest of the strawberries that I had, put a few more on the top, 
sprinkled some around the outside and then just dusted it with a little bit more candorel. And there you have it, a very, very delicious, decadent, so, so sweet breakfast. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up below. If you would like to see more recipe ideas, how-to videos, live cook-alongs, cleaning and organizing tips, and much more, then please click that subscribe button and you will be notified each time I upload a fabby new video. Until next time, my friends.